Hello again, welcome back to the Mark III Sterling Engine build videos. This is the fifth video of the build and I've now finished. I'll show you the video clips of that so far and then I'll take you over the engine um, and show you what it's all about. <laughs>
its um, glory. I painted it a nice black colour. All my other engines are black. It's sort of uh, rustic patina, I like to call it. Um, you could just call it tatty. Right, I'll take you on a whistle stop tour of the engine. So at the top here, this is obviously still a bit wet, the paint at the moment. Um, so I've got a valve here. This will stop the engine. I've got a plug there just to plug the spare hole that I haven't used for anything yet. This is a one-way valve. So it let air into the engine, but won't let it back out again. Moving down, we've got the cylinder. I've got these little plugs here that screw in. Um, that's so we can oil the lever seal, which is in, under this in this piece here. Uh, moving down, we've got a flywheel. We can turn this down, like so. We've got the piston. Um, chimney, obviously. Um, and the same again on the other side. Same kind of affair with the con rod. I'm going to have to move the engine around a minute, so just bear with me. So this is the uh, the rocket stove part of it. So it's a furnace. So the fire goes in here. See our insulated bricks. It goes all the way down there, up underneath, and up through the um, the riser, where it gains heat and burns up all those um, all the fumes, all the uh, all the smoke, I should say. And then it passes it through the hot side of the regenerator. Regenerated, no, the hot side of the heater, and then up the chimney. Um, I'll just take this cover off. This is to clean the ash out, this cover here. We can see down there, like that. Um, yeah, and that's about it, really. Um, it's, it's obviously a very simple engine, so there isn't a great deal to talk about, really. As our the majority of sterling engines. Um, I did put a little cabinet underneath it. Like that. Um, there's no actual real purpose of this. I was thinking I might bother to keep my food warm, maybe. <laughs> but we'll see how hot it gets. We'll even cook in it if it gets really hot, but um, I don't think it'll get that hot. Um, okay. Ooh. Right, so that's about it. Um, so next video, I'll be trying to get the thing running. I think it will run. Um, my only concern is um, the flywheels and the amount of weight here and me being able to actually start the thing. Um, there isn't much inertia in these flywheels. Generally, sterling engines need a fair bit of um, uh, flywheel weight to, um, to get it over the sort of um, the compression phase. Um, and also trying to spin this is almost impossible. I'm hoping that I can use the relief valve on top, um, like a like a decompressor, uh, to spin the engine and then close it off, and it will take off um, under its own. Um, I was going to say steam, uh, but I should say air, really. Um, so that's about it. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll catch you next time, and we'll put a fire in it. Um, a, we'll see whether the the wood the um, rocket stove works. Um, B, we'll, we'll see whether the engine works as well. So see you again. Bye bye.